What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's day two of that Pennsylvania trip that I told you about. Day two involves something very cool. We went to the Little League World Series Museum. As you know, the Little League World Series just finished up as I'm doing this because, again, going through all the footage, I realized that the stuff that I shot just didn't come out that great, so we got to re-edit it sometimes. It works. But day two, we do go to the Little League World Series. Very cool place to go. If you're a baseball fan of any kind, definitely worth just making a travel even out for a day if you can. If you're just passing through, travel out there. Go see it. But for you guys, you guys get to see it now. Take a look. Right here from And there you go. It's the start of it. A little bit foggy, at least it's foggy on my screen. I don't know how well it's coming out on your guys', but this is where every year in August they play the Little League World Series. They get everybody to come around. These are usually the buildings that they hang out in over here in the Grove. But that is the main stadium right there where they play all their games at, and then there's the other stadium that's way back there. And sorry that. if it's getting a little foggy. We'll actually get down there momentarily. Um, we'll show you, kind of show you off everything down there. This is the actual office portion over here that uh, they do all the main business at. And then right here is a cool little brick area. Yet yeah, the kids are with us even today too. And that's because... Yes, we all know. That is because... We're here at the Little League World Series Museum. We're gonna hang out here. This is day two, by the way, Welcome if you haven't figured it out. Welcome to my hometown, guys. <laughs> so like I said, this is day two. We finished day one. We did the vintage shop yesterday. We just kind of showed off the mountains and everything. Today, we're here at the Little League World Series Museum. Jazzy, Evan, everybody's here. We're all gonna hang out today, but let's go inside and see how this place looks, shall we? Let's go. How would you like to play on a regular team with uniforms, a new ball for every game, and bats you could really swing? And then they started asking me All right, so we entered into the first big hall now. That is a the first thing you do is you go in here and you watch an actual video. And when you come out of here, you come into what's called Heritage, the second inning. Basically, the way to look at everything, like here's the sole founder of the place, and that kind of opens up a door to a whole other place. You don't want to do that though, let's close it up. It's kind of a shortcut. So, so it kind of starts 1939, and this is another thing that you'll see as you go along, you see kind of where certain gates come through, but the first Little League game is played in Williamsport Park Point. There's a mouthful for you on June 6th, and we'll actually show that off here in a bit too. So. These are pretty cool interactive things. I was just watching one about Katherine Tubby Johnson here. Uh, she was the first girl to play Little League, and when uh, it was back in 1950, then they created a rule for Little League that stated that she was not, that no girls were allowed to play Little League baseball up until about 1974 when the now organization got involved. So she's quite the pioneer there. Right. Professor of Physiology, and part of my work is 
There's so much stuff to witness through these things. It gets kind of hard to look through. I played shortstop, Carl Stutz, first two years of Little League. We played baseball before Carl. In other words, all pick up games because that's about the only thing you could do when you're a kid in the summertime. And we used to get Chinese rockets, so they called me. And you get them by washing the covers off of them. Some different, a lot of different things that you see, and this, there's so many buttons that you can push. There's so many buttons that you can push in this place that it almost gets tough to listen to each one because of the groups that you win. We were lucky enough to be in a very small group when we came through today, so things were good. Yeah. This was the way, this machine here was a way for them to actually test what baseball hitting helmets were like. And so they used compressed air, fired baseball into various helmet designs using this cannon he constructed in the late 1950s. Research led to the modern batting helmet now used in all levels of baseball and softball. Pretty darn cool. Yeah. Taking a look at some other gear and whatnot. I mean, this is actually pretty cool. The level that it has, you know, gone through to what it looks like today when you look at how well, and this is from back in 2012 here. So this is even changed since then. Yeah. But I mean, and then also along the wall up here, you know, timeline. From 1959, right there, all the way through. To 2005, when Little League, Little League Baseball World Series expanded from eight teams to 16 teams. This is why it takes two weeks to go through. <laughs> So here is a lot of connections. Oh, that's so cool. Sesame. Country, 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 the good thing is I speak a little Spanish, so I knew where that was going. <laughs> uh, See if you can go two for two. Each of these countries has won the Little League World Series. Which team has won the most? Won <laughs> Chinese Taipei. She has an unfair advantage in this one. She is yeah. the hometown girl. In 2002, women of Little League won junior. Dang, that I did not know. Mm, there's something new that you learn every time. Three South American countries where the league has played was. Um, Venezuela. I did, I swear, I, don't, I'm, I do not have a cheat code. I don't even know this. And you're just collecting pins along the way. You only got two more to go. Can you actually do this? Country 91, 2001, 2008, series of 20 T ball on the South Long Games of Plain. Which of these cities hosted the games? Well, obviously, it's on the South Long. Uh oh. She just needs one more. Can she pull it off? Each of these countries has won the movie. Which? Uh, 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 don't you touch. Don't. Um, yep, she go. got them all. She gets every single pin. All right, there we go.
and then not only that, but you can also go and you come in and can uh, yes. click to find a league. You can find you pick all, all the countries. Evan, stop. Yeah. All, Evan. So all these countries here, and then you go into Canada. Yeah, all these all the countries. It's a little touchy. Yeah, it's a bit. But that's okay. Yeah, you can see. It is really touchy. So, and then all your states, the United States. Oh, that's not the one I wanted to pick. There it is. There we go. Michigan, and of course. 230 leagues. And where in. we are? And Adrian. And that's only saying North Emmett. Is a meal. That's not the one I picked. Why did it go to Allison? Sand Creek. Sand Creek is the only little league that's marked right now, even though that is, this is not updated. Yes. No, it's not. Because our kids are part of it. Uh-oh. I don't know if she's copying you or not, but she did it too. She did it too. When you take a look at this portion here, take, look at this, and I gotta move somebody's big head. Every single baseball that is here has been autographed by somebody, including this one. There's actually a picture from a this, couple years ago when we were here, and we had both signed this, and then we had there was so many special Olympic softball. She came in and signed this too. She was in right behind us. And yeah. You could actually see my signature as she's writing on. Who says you can't use anything just to make a glove? This one is completely made out of cardboard. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. And then here's your dissection of a base. So, we made like this. This is like you have to hold down um, the ground, kind of see there's dirt and everything. Um, that's, a, that's the whole that's the whole base system. Yeah. This, this is part is usually in the ground. Yeah. This is what this is usually connected yeah. to the base. So. Yeah. Of course. All now you get into where you see a jazzy. <laughs> <laughs> And all the old school uniforms from way back in the day. So they're pretty cool, cool deal. And if you're ever wondering if you ever need to go to the bathroom or anything, right when you turn the corner, bang. There you get the men's room there, you get the women's room there. But now we come up to something really fun that you guys are gonna like. Hang on. Right here, right here. Oh, it went away. So this is one of the neat little interactive games. Evan's gonna give it a try here real quick. You gotta wait for it to light up. Where's it gonna light up at? Oh. He's actually doing pretty good. That's it. That was it. Hang on, hang on. All right, now Big Laura's gonna try. Where to light up at? There we go. And another one. Oh, look at her go. She's got the moves. I believe that's all three outs. Yep, she does it again. Let me give you another one. Outside, basket softball. Hi, I'm Gary G. Are you ready? This is actually pretty cool. Thanks for being here at the Royal Little Lake. 2.71. Catch a pitch in 3D. I don't know how well this might. Hi, I'm Mike Messina. I play Little League Baseball right up the road in Mithorzel, Pennsylvania. 
I pitched a Stanford University and then 18 years in the major leagues. I'm going to give you a taste of what major league pitching looks like. Oof. Okay, so it's a little bit of a cannon that comes into this glove here. It's actually kind of cool. Alright, let's head over to Lomity and see some little leaguers going. Hi, I'm covering. Go, go, go! There's so much glare. Let me give you another one. And it's basically just a cannon that mimics. Nice catch. Okay. Nice pitch top, though. And all this is is basically just Hi, a cannon. Are you ready? I don't know how well you can see it because how dark it is. But it's basically just a, like a little motor that when it hits your glove, it acts like it does it. All right, so Jazz is gonna try and do this. Wasn't the fastest for today, but Oh, this should be good. See what happens here. Wait on it. Ah. Ooh, got an eight foot jump, huh? Big Ev gets a five footer. Of course he does. He's only four three. I don't know if <laughs> he's not running quite quite right. Ah, no. oh, you would have hit the seven foot ball. Seven foot, no problem. <laughs> I can't get my leap. Daddy can reach that. I'm not sure if Daddy should try and reach that. No, I think Daddy will roll his knee out of here. It's kind of cool. It gives you a chance to sit in a dugout that's usually at the field, and when enough sits, they kick a little video on. This is one of the cooler things too, is you get to see all the banners. There's a Great Lake Region one, but all the champions and old dugout mascot thing there. Get some of the uh, scores from the older Little League stuff here as well. Uh, and then check this bad boy out. This is actually kind of cool. Hang on. And yes, where it all started, basically, ABC Sports, the wide world of sports. A lot of famous people have played this, like Tom Selleck, and Billy Hunter, and Tony Dungy. Just, you go down the line. A lot of famous people. Even Dick Vitale. Right, you guys saw the museum, at least parts of the museum. Had a little fun doing that, but now we're gonna take you through the one cool part of this whole this area. Is typically where you have to come down to park at, it's usually up the road that way. We're gonna go up Stadium Drive here. Yeah, there's Stadium, this is a sign for Stadium Drive. And this is we got a couple this has changed. This has changed so much since I was a kid. Um, these are the practice fields. This didn't used to be here. In fact, this used to be all parking here. Uh, but where Volunteer Stadium, which is the stadium we are looking at right now here, uh, this actually used to be a practice field. It has been raining nonstop for two days, so sorry if the windshield wipers get in the way every now and then. It, would go f it, it figures that, you know, you know, the time we decide to come over, it's just pouring rain and it sucks too because we wanted to do some other stuff, but I mean, so be yeah. it. Yeah, but 
as we get here this is usually a little bit more parking up here they have check-ins you know they do check bags and stuff during the series itself usually it's right around here there's also another checkpoint down below yep. ever since 9 11 everything has to be a little bit more careful so yeah this is right here this is volunteer stadium um this is where in the series it's up oh i almost forgot about this how silly of me stop 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 right here the carl e schultz statue and right there uh, it has stats. Stats, yes. Sorry, stats. Uh, he right there is one of the you know gentlemen who helped organize Little League Baseball. And there is actual Poke Stop there too. If you guys play Pokemon, <laughs> <laughs> I found that out Can't two years that. ago. <laughs> I found that out two years ago. So there's so, another practice field over here. Yep. But yes, this is uh, the Volunteer Stadium. This was uh, built. This is where usually the international games are. Yes. Play. And this um, looks like a big giant building, but it's not. It's actually a field. Yeah, there's an actual field behind it. Very cool little thing right there. And I'll get the window cleaned off enough so you guys can take a look at the... I'll zoom in too. So you boom see. there. That... Uh, you know it helps if I actually... No. Welcome to the Little League World Series. And this is actually... This gets trimmed up all throughout the year. It'll look even sharper by the time the uh, middle of August rolls around, so you guys can watch it on ABC and you have ESPN. A, you have a cool little uh, signage right here, let you know where everything's at. Climb. So Apparently, there's a clearance the, going on at the uh, I'm gift make shop. The climb a little bit up this way. All right, so yeah, like during this time of year, we can actually all drive up here and you know drive around and whatnot just give you an idea you know food is definitely on the list here a few bits of food as a matter of fact they can even back up real quick this right here by the way is the uh howard j lamady stadium yep but the reason why i said i could back up just a little bit is because i can come over to here you guys can actually see and you can actually get not actually so this right here we showed it to you guys coming in but we wanted to show it to you now this is where the international games are played at this is the this is a volunteer stadium here this is where you usually get to see all of the international games played nice quiet now it looks like a big stadium it's not really that big of a stadium but it's a very cool place and just listening to the silence and everything and looking over how well kept this field is right now they got about two weeks three weeks before the world little league world series kicks off it's going to be interesting let's go check out some other stuff shall we want to do this too real quick it's always really this is cool um this is the back of the volunteer stadium um they're part of the little league saying on there which is you know i love my god i or no i trust in god i love my country and will respect its laws uh shoot <laughs> i, I used to know it. this i used to know this like you know the back of my hand um i trust in god in the shop and i didn't think about yeah think about actually filming but it. that that bottom part i will play fair it strive to win but win or lose i will always do my best that is always towards the end of every little league world series saying every little league saying that is the player's motto right coming up on the gift shop and if you've always ever wondered and it's just because we've been here before guys right where i have the car parked at right now this is where ESPN and ABC set sets up. up that film, that shot where they've got, you know. They got the background of the volunteer stadium. Yeah, they they the got back the background of. Yeah, they get the background of the shop. This is right where that setup is every year. Um, take them. Last but not least, we've got you know, the, the gift, gift shop, shop which is already open. They've got all the. The gift, this, no, this gift shop actually, for the most part, there's a couple of times a year that it does close, but for the most part, it is always open. Now, I want to show you guys something here real quick. This is something that was really cool that was not here. Before I forget, this is the pavilion. You know, you can sit here, eat, whatnot, restrooms. But over here, if you just look, there's a fenced-off area right here, okay? 
this is part of the they have basketball courts there right now but as you're getting into the little league world series this will start building up towards like a whole bunch of different things for the kids to do it's an interactive uh place where they can collect pins and all this stuff and i forget where the pin tent is it's pretty much everything it goes along it goes in up there it takes up all that There's it some takes stuff up all of here. this over here um it even gets down into there there's they a, had a few things there's as well. an area where the uh where people will gather to collect and, tr and trade pins yeah. now i'm not talking and actually i got it in my pocket but i mean you can even take a look at here i'll actually take this from laura real quick so I can get you can actually take a look here at just how expansive i remember specifically it used to be just this one field and it wasn't yeah this was it this was one field and they actually bought out all this land if you look down the down the hill here there's a looks like a pavilion down below those are batting cages but this is the pins that i'm talking about all right and everybody goes about it and they have people make pins and sell and they they, they sell them they trade them um our cousin or uh, our family my family actually is, has a big part in doing this he's got some pins too but i got this one for free for doing a survey at the museum <laughs> so that was awesome it's a 2003 little league world series pin so very cool and I, I there you have it little league world series done um when i mentioned that it rained all the time back in the first video of this two-day vlog in pennsylvania i wasn't kidding it kept raining even up until we got like halfway out of pennsylvania on the drive back okay it was just raining so that's why we had a few shots where we had to look through the wiper blades i got out on a few spots but it just it was starting to get worse and worse and worse so Hence the reason why we just cut it where it was. So thanks guys for watching. Make sure that you like the video. Make sure you also subscribe if you haven't. And you guys are going to like what's up next because we're going home to Ohio. And we don't even live in Ohio. We're going to our home in Ohio for the next one. See you guys then.